well, usually you're in the dugout, but now you're out of the dugout and on the touchline. Look at that pitch behind you, it's magnificent. Oh, my Jim and, uh, Jim and his staff have done a fantastic job on that. Uh, you know, it's looking lush and I think it'll be uh, on fire on the weekend. And how much are you looking forward to getting back here and uh, seeing the crowd back here? Oh, it'll be great, you know, it'll, I know the players are looking forward to it. Um, you know, should be a good, decent crowd because after our, you know, the double headers, Bradford and Sheffield after us, and Hunslet, not too far away from us, and uh, we had a real good, good game against them in the summer bash, and you know, I, I just thought we we're a little bit fortunate there not and to uh, get the spoils. What will it do for the players in terms of confidence coming back to this pitch? Oh, the players love playing here. That's the thing. They, you know, they're, they're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, we, I think this last few months we've been focusing too much on uh, on the win and, you know, I don't think we need to worry about the win. If you play good enough, the win will come. So they just need to be back to some familiar surroundings and go out there and give it their all and, and just play to the best of their ability and then hopefully they'll get what they deserve. That first win is elusive. Tried in vain against Batley. What were your take on that game? Again... Very, very competitive for long periods of time, but um, you know, again, I allude to the the fact that we all keep harping on about this first win, and you know, I think it's a mentality thing now. And when the when the players realise, or oh, you know, we can't, maybe they get a couple of tries, think we can't win this, and then everyone's dropping the shoulders and the supporters and everything, and just thinking, well. Here we go again, we're not going to win again and we, we're putting a massive amount of emphasis on this win and I think we need to focus on just doing the little things right in the games and hanging in there and keep battling and, and keep going, you know. Uh, people think I'm crazy but I, you know, I still haven't given up hope and I won't give up hope and give up the fight until it's mathematically impossible that we can stay up, you know. You've, you've got us, if you don't stay positive and you don't, Battle and battle and battle. We might as well walk out the door now because you're in the you're in the sporting industry and you know it's um, you can't give up. You don't give up until until you physically or mathematically can't stay in this league. Um, so we've got to keep fighting, keep battling, and you know worse things have happened. But um, I'm a believer and. You know, if I didn't believe we could still do it and, it and and it starts from me, then I might as well leave. I might as well walk out the door and and we all might as well go. But, you know, we've got to keep believing and, you know, who, who knows? Who knows? You know, everyone at the moment, yeah, we're favourites to go down. But we're not down yet. Lee Waterman, who's come back after a little stint at York City Knights, he still thinks the Dons can stay up. Is it a call for more of that mentality? And he's... he's kind of come back into the fold hasn't he fresh pair of eyes oh listen uh, I think if you speak to most of the players that that think the same but um, it's just that we're trying everything and then you know I, I just think the emphasis we're all putting on everyone to get this first win first win you know you've just got to go out and play well and you'll get what you deserve I said from day one you'll finish in the league where you deserve to finish in the league. You, you get what you deserve in this game. You only get out of it what you put in. So at the moment where we are, is, it's because we deserve to be there. Is there a kind of emphasis from the other teams though that they don't want to be the first team to lose to Doncaster this season? Do you think that could play a factor well, in it? That, most weeks, if you look on the um, the reports you get in the, the pre-game reports, most coaches are saying that. You know. Doncaster's not a bad side, but we don't want to be the first team to lose against them. So, yes, the answer is yes. Um, but we've got to just keep battling on and keep battling on, and, we, and we'll do that. And, um, you know, we've got a couple of new faces in the team this week. We've got big Matt Grote back. So, you know, we've, we've got a decent decent side going out there on the weekend. And, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, the boys get what they deserve because they, you know... They're working hard and they keep going, but we just need everyone to stick together. And you know, we I'll probably say the same things every week, but the coach is saying the same thing every week to the team. The captains are saying the same thing every week to the players. So you know, it's um, 
It's a difficult one, but like we had the fans meeting on on Monday, and um, hey, let, you know, I'm the first one to say we, we've prob I've made mistakes, and we hold our hands up to that. But um, if we don't learn from these mistakes, you know, that's when there's a problem. But you know, we we may have underestimated the league, which we put a statement out saying that, and. Um, who knows? But you know, we certainly didn't think we'd go through this season in the shape we have done. Um, we were quietly confident, but uh, we, you know, we had some goals in house. But um, for me, if if we put you put your hands up and you and you learn from the lessons and make sure we don't make the same mistakes again, you know, one thing I will know is we won't get left behind like mm -hmm. like we probably did last year. And if there's decisions to be made, then I maybe need to make them a bit, little bit more quicker and be a bit smarter about things. But well, um, you know, these tough, tough times, you know, they make the the good times even better. And you know, um, don't get me wrong, it's been very, very challenging and, and uh, mentally tough. And mm. I've asked a lot of questions of myself, and you know, I've come to the the conclusion that yeah, hey, you know, I've made I've made some probably some big mistakes um, but I'm I'm prepared to learn from them and, and make this club get back to where it needs to be and, and work a lot harder and and bring the right personnel into the in the, to the club um, who, who's got that winning mentality and and uh, we'll, we'll certainly be doing that and, and we you know we're, we're doing a lot of work behind the scenes now regarding what other clubs are doing in championship and in championship one and trying to find out you know the sort of budgets they're spending and I'll report that back to Gavin and, and the board and then um, we'll put a budget together which we think will make us be very, very competitive next year regardless of what league we're in. If we're in Championship, we'll be very, very competitive. And if we're in Championship 1, we'll be very, very, very competitive. Mm. Are you being caught on the hop, do you reckon, the Dons, by the way that Lee, Bradford and some of the other teams, the, the Featherstons and Halifax of this world, have gone about it this season? Oh, I'm not sure. We we were never going to go full time this year. Yeah. Um, we had we had plans in place, but um, uh, if you look back, you know, let's let's have a look at it. If you look back and um, you look at the game against London on round one, if we were to go to London and and get them like we nearly did, would the season have been dramatically different? Because the players would have had that confidence. Well. We've just gone to a Super League club who's come down and we beat them. We got Featherstone at home on round two. Very, very unlucky to, not to mm. win that. So you win them two games and all of a sudden the whole mentality of the club changes again. And and the, 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 it was inches, you know, we were, we were so close and, and then it's just snowballed and snowballed and, and then it's got to the stage where we're, when are we going to get this win? And it, uh, you know, very anxiety and anxious and, you know, you've seen a little bit with Batley on the weekend. They've lost 16 games and um, they were as nervous as us in that first yeah. 15 minutes. But when they got two or three tries on the board, you actually seen them start to relax and, and play some good, good rugby league. So, you know, that's that happens and um, and they could probably kick on from there now um, because I tell you, they've got a team who... They've got some attack in them, that's for sure, and they were very physical. So, um, you know, that could plateau them to go on and, and make them safe. Uh, if we can come up and get a, a decent victory on the weekend, who's to say that that won't kick us on? Because if you look at the, the big boys we've played, we've, we've given them a game. Mm. So, uh, who knows? That's almost the problem, isn't it? You've given the big boys a good game and a good run for the money. Bradford down here and, and a few of the other Sheffield. teams, Featherstone and Sheffield as well. And then against the smaller so-called clubs, shall we say, who are fighting down the bottom end with you, it's perhaps not been as even a contest as you expect. Well, I think you know what you're going to get against the, the big boys. And uh, and probably, if you look and digest it, it's probably the same situation we were in last year mm. with, the, with not the, the big four clubs. Um, you're not sure what players are going to get on Joel Ridge. And, and like last season, they've, you know, they've got some... These clubs have been playing have had some real decent players mm. in their ranks, and the, but they don't get them every week. But they seem to get the stack the team up with them when they're playing against <laughs> Donny. So yeah. we end up copying the brunt against them. But um, you know, and, and that's not 
being disrespectful to our uh, Jewel Ridge club because you know Lee Radford has tried hard for us, but they haven't got the um, the quality of player that they gave us last season, mm. um, and not not due to not giving them to us. It's just due down to uh, the fact that they've had a lot of injuries in their first team. And your, your Abdul's and, your, and these sort of Logans and them who probably would have been with us as they're in the first team or in the periphery of the first team. So, you know, that's that's rugby. Um, and I know for a fact if Lee could help us and and give us some of the guns, well, you know, he would. We, we After we played Bradford, um, you all seen what Jordan Abdul done. And uh, Lee said to me, he'll probably be with you for, for the rest of the season next week. Westerman gets rib injury or something and Abdul's been in the first team and never looked back uh, and you know I don't knock that I'm, I'm all for that and good luck to the kid you know uh, no one more prouder than me to see a player come to Donny and then go and, and perform and play Super League and if, if we've contributed that, that helps and then that makes the others know that if they come to Donny and perform they'll play Super League so you know, Lee's been great, and, he, and he's first one on the text. You know, on a, you know, within minutes after the game, and how can we help you? And you know, so for people who think Hull's not giving us the quality, it's it's that they've had the, some misfortune of their own. Finally, from me, you talked about Matt Grote, who'll be returning from suspension this weekend. Arguably, his best game in a Don shirt came in the Summer Bash at Huns, that where the Dons pushed him most of the way, but not quite all of the way. Oh, listen, you know, I feel a bit sorry for Matt at the moment because um, his his mother and his grandfather and, and another family member have been in the country for three weeks and, you know, I think they arrived a few days after he'd picked his band up. So they've spent a lot of money to come over and watch the boy and and they're only going to get to see him play one game. So um, And that'll be on the weekend. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I know for a fact that Matty will um, be wanting to put a show on and, and put a good performance and in front of his mum and his grandfather so um, you know a bit tough one for him with them you know them coming over to watch him and him picking up a suspension so hopefully you know he um, he fires into them and he, and he has a good game you know he's he's looking forward to it and I know he's trying really hard while he's been off